This is Noughts and Crosses. And this is Super Noughts and Crosses. Hey, I'm TC, an unexperienced game developer, and today I'm going to try and make Super Noughts and Crosses in Unity in as little time as possible. Let's get rolling. Before we begin, we need to actually learn what Super Noughts and Crosses is. Don't worry, this won't take long, I promise. Super Noughts and Crosses is a variant of the popular game Noughts and Crosses. I know, shocker. And in this version, you play a regular game of Noughts and Crosses, but instead of playing on one grid, you're playing on ten. How fun. But what makes this version interesting is at the beginning of the game, if I play on the top left of the centre grid, like so, then the next player has to play on the top left grid on the large grid, and so forth. This creates some very interesting gameplay, whilst also lengthening the session of each play. This also comes with the consequence of being progressively more difficult to program. And as I mentioned, I'm not the best at this whole game development thing. But until we get there, we have a few other things to get done first. Now, the first task was to actually create the board at which you would play the game on. So I opened up a new Unity project and got a grid off Google, slapped them together, and they looked... well, terrible. So my second attempt was to make it using rectangles, which looks better, but it's still not the best. But I can always come back to it later. The next step was creating the noughts and crosses. For now, these are just going to be red and blue squares, but I will change them later when I do all the art. And now that the visual side is done, we can move on to the functional side. I first decided to get a simple game of noughts and crosses working on just one grid first to get an idea of how I would need to adapt it for later. Firstly, I made it so that each grid has 9 locations you could place a nought or a cross on, and if it's your go and you press on one, then it places your icon there. Following on from that, I made it so you can win each grid by placing 3 of your colour in a line. And if you're wondering how I did it, then it's quite simple actually. First, I- HA! No, you thought I was actually going to show you my code? You were wrong. It's not because it's bad or anything. It's just because it's so good that I just can't show you, for legal reasons. Anyway, the next thing I worked on was making a nice win state for when you own three grids in a row. And if you do, first of all, congratulations. Second of all, it plays this nice little UI animation which I spent way too long making. And after getting all the basics done, it was then time to implement the rules of Super Noughts and Crosses. So let's get working on that. Up to this point in the project, I have been following a few tutorials to get certain systems working, mainly detecting which player owns which square, and whether or not they have won that grid. But for implementing the rules, I wanted to try and do it all by myself. I first made each grid have an active state, and if the grid was inactive, a grey square would appear to display this to the other player. After that, I began working on enabling and disabling each grid square depending on what tile has been clicked the most basic of the rules. This works by looping through all of the large grids and checking if the grid number is the same as the tile number that was just pressed. If this is so, we activate that grid and deactivate all of the other ones. And after some programming, that was up and running. Next was a bit of playtesting with my friends to see what problems arose, and there are a few edge cases I needed to work out. One was if you had won a grid and then you select it, the entire board should become available. After this was all done, I did some more playtesting with my friends to confirm everything was working hunky-dory. And after swiftly realising that it wasn't, it was back to bug fixing. After doing what any good government does, and sweeping the problem under the rug, I decided to move on to the art. Now, originally, I was going to change the squares into noughts and crosses, but after working with squares for so long, I've grown quite fond of them and I've decided to keep them, along with the rectangle grid. So much for the art overhaul. Next, I moved on to working on the main menu. For this menu, my idea was to have a grid on one side and all the buttons on the other. Kind of like Portal 2's menu. And after many revisions, I landed on this, which I really like, but the buttons could use some work. After that, I wanted to make an animation that would play when you open the game, and that would lead to the menu screen. In the end, I had to make this animation three times due to certain settings needing to be changed throughout the process. But after some work, this is what I got, and I think it looks really cool. After that, all I needed to do was some basic things, like making the buttons work, changing scenes, and adding a bit of text to show whose go it was. And after all of that, I had a game that functioned really nicely. I'm really happy with how the game turned out, from watching a Vsauce video on it, and thinking, I could make that, to actually making it has been a really fulfilling experience. I have many more ideas of how I could make the game better, like adding multiple modes, online multiplayer, and lots more. So if you want me to keep on working on it, then leave a comment saying so, along with any ideas you may have. Now, you may be asking, TC, how do I play this wonderfully amazing experience? Well, dear viewer, there'll be a link in the description directing you to an itch.io page where you can play the latest version of the game, so go wild with that. 
Also, next video I'm going to do a Q&A, so any questions you may have, leave them below for me to answer them. And finally, I would like to thank you for watching my video. If you liked it, then please leave a like, and if you want to see more, then a subscription would go a long way. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day. Bye!